Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today is just a real short one. I, I finally got around to modding my James Donkey A3 75% three mode keyboard. And I got to say, I am liking it. Ever since I got this kit, I'm a big fan of two tone and I had to get ski data from MT3. But I wanted to wait till they were on sale. I got these about two weeks ago um, using a combination of coupons. I paid $17.99. So <laughs> seeing as they're usually listed for above $100, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I thought that it mixed quite well. I mean, the orange is almost the same orange as the case. So um, I had not taken a look at this keyboard since I had gotten it. So I went ahead and took it apart. This one is a little bit different as where it has the battery actually attached to the PCB. So I removed all of that. I disassembled the plate and the PCB assembly because I wanted to remove the foam between that. I like some keyboards work really well without that padding there. Um, after doing that, I went ahead and did a Tempest tape mod, making sure to cut out for the JST connector holes as well as the holes where the battery cover or well actually the battery cover and the battery are all one so to ensure that they could clip back together flipping over to the pcb i went ahead and installed some pour on switch pads I'm, i've become very fond of these i think it's easier than doing the pe foam it's very similar though it's a little bit more controlled sometimes you can get the pe foam and it can kind of bundle up and actually make more of a double triple popping sound almost like you're popping um bubble wrap so i found pour on pads to be just perfect for me after doing that I, I removed the silicone pad in the case that comes with the keyboard it is quite substantial and quite heavy and left the keyboard feeling a little bit light so i figured as a replacement i would go ahead and get some kill mat um, some automotive a dampener and install that at the bottom, cutting it out to fit for the different things that are inside as, as far as like the flip up feet. Um, and then I added a little bit of polyfill to finish it out. Um, I didn't want it to be just that, but I didn't want to just put some light foam in there and make it much lighter. Right now it actually feels a little bit denser or heavier than it originally did. So after doing that, I went ahead and assembled it back together and I loaded up some Gatoron orange switches. So after loading up the uh, Gatoron orange, I went ahead and loaded up the MT3 ski data. And I was honestly quite surprised at the deepness that this keyboard now delivers. It's, <laughs> it sounds pretty, um, I'd almost call it crunchy. To me, this is a uh, is a crunchy sound profile. I don't think Thok is the right one, though it is deeper. Um, it's almost it's almost like the sound of a machine crunching metal. If that <laughs> if that actually fits, um, that's just my imagination going. But anyway, uh, I've put this together, and I'm now quite enjoying typing on this keyboard, uh, despite them being linears. Not that I hate linears, I'm just more of a tactile guy for everyday use. But I've been using this keyboard over the last few days, and I all I can really say in one word is fun. Um, the sound is enjoyable. Even uh, my wife walked into my office and I was typing, and she's like, what are you typing on? And she hardly ever, I mean, she, she likes keyboards here and there. She knows the difference between a clicky and a tactile and a linear. And, and she likes poppy or snappy tactiles, switches that push back and that are loud. But she noticed that I was typing on something different. She's like, is that a new switch? I'm like, no, it's just a keyboard I modded. And she remembered it from being orange. Um, and she said, I don't remember this keyboard sounding like that. And she actually had me pull up the original um, review and sound test that I did, which I'll link down below to compare the two. So uh, I thought it was quite a difference. Maybe I'll do a little super cut at the end, but I found that this um, James Donkey A3, which if you guys don't know, James Donkey is uh, one of two uh, 
subsidiaries of Keychron, uh, the new one being Lemokey and James Donkey, uh, which <laughs> has a real funny translation if you uh, translate it into Chinese and then back into English. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. But this three mode, mode keyboard not only feels more substantial now, but has become much, much more fun to type on. Um, it's, it, it really, I know they've, I think they've released a newer version of this. I'm going to see what I can do to get a hold of it, but I'm going to be using this one as a daily driver for the next few days. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy the sound test of this keyboard. If you guys have any questions or comments about my mods, I'd love to hear them down below. And until the next transmission, do keep calm and keyboard on. <laughs>